Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested integral using integrals by parts and then trigonometric substitution. So stay tuned. Okay, here's an interesting viewer suggested integral. So the question is evaluate this integral, x times sine inverse of x dx. Looks like we need to use integration by parts and then maybe trigonometric substitution after. So first of all, I'll be starting with this integration by parts by calling your u as this arc sine x. Okay, in this case, your du over dx is just 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, then let's talk about your v prime. It has to be just the x. Then your v has to be antiderivative of x dx, which has to be 1 over 2x squared uh, plus c. But this constant term is not really necessary. But anyway, so using this integration by parts, integral of u v prime, this is u v minus integral of v d u. So using this, then we can rewrite this as now equal to um, x squared over 2. That times arc sine x. Okay, that minus pulling 1 over 2 out of integral x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared and then dx. Okay, now let's focus on this integral. So it looks like we need to make the trigonometric substitution, right? So for this integral, I'll be writing this down again. 1 over 2 times parenthesis x squared over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so now I'll be calling this x based on this form on the denominator as now sine u, which means your u has to be just equal to arc sine x. And then your dx is now equal to cosine u du. So that is why your dx over uh, du. Okay, so your dx over du is now cosine of u. So using this, we can rewrite this integral. It looks like to be then 1 over 2 times integral of sine square u that over square root of 1 minus sine square u, and then we have cosine u du. Noticing how this inside part, this 1 minus sine square u, this is equal to cosine square u. So that's why we can cancel these terms out. And then your integral is looking like 1 over 2 times the integral of sine square u and then du. And in this case, we can now focus on this trigonometric identity that was about sine square x. It is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x over now 2. Focusing on this trigonometric identity. Okay, now we can rewrite your integral as now equal to 1 over 2. Okay, that times integral of 1 minus cosine uh, 2u over 2. And then we have du. Okay, so that's why this, if you pull this 1 over 2 out, then 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4 times integral of then 1 minus cosine 2u, and then we have du, which has to be the same as if you break this into two integrals. We have 1 over 4 integral 1 du, and then minus 1 over 4 integral cosine of 2u and then du, which has to be the same as 1 over 4 parenthesis now u, and then minus 1 over 2 sine 2u. So that's why if you write everything back to this x, then it has to be the same as 1 over 4 parenthesis arc sine x minus 1 over 2 sine of now arc sine of 2 times arc sine x. Okay, so this is the value. This is an expression. 
of this integral. So that's why your final answer has to be x squared then over 2 arc sine x, and then minus 1 over 4 times everything follows. 2 times sine of 2 times arc sine x, and then make sure you add c because we worked on indefinite integral. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer suggested integrals. I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.